Hi, in this video you will see the Prophecy Operations Hub Trend Analysis app. You'll see how the Analysis app allows for plotting data from a variety of data sources such as iFix, Simplicity, Historian, and Operations Hub Data Model. You'll also see the exciting capabilities available for users to interact. First, let's start off with navigation through the model hierarchy. As we select the finished water pump station, you can see the properties are set to plot based on the context of the finished water pump station. Users have the ability to interact with the trend based on their permissions set in the system. We're going to modify the properties that are currently plotted. We'll simply remove the items that are not of interest and add the items from the appropriate sources that are of interest. We allow for browsing of the sources that were configured in Prophecy Operations Hub. We support filtering by auto word complete searches, as well as searching by the item name and or description to enable users to search for sources in the most efficient manner. Once we select the item, it is then added to the trend. It's really that simple. The same sequence is used to plot from other sources. Let's go ahead and add two additional pens from other sources, being Simplicity and iFix. Great, now that we have the pens defined, we can modify the properties of the pens. We can set the color, the line weight, and line style. Now you can see we've made some simple changes to the existing trend. Now let's look at some additional ways to interact with the trending. We can switch to historical mode, and here we have the ability to look at different time spans and sampling modes coming from the historian. We can change the number of samples to bring in more data for this duration. You also have the ability to add notes to the trend. These notes are stored in the Prophecy Historian archive. Here you can see an example of entering a comment or a note which brings additional context to the plotted data. There's also the ability to place multiple sliders on the trend and compare the data at each point. And you even have the ability to see the difference between the two data points. This can save time by being able to determine how much product you've made over a specified duration or simply identify the difference in the data without having to store a calculation in an archive or construct a detailed expression. We're going to look at one last feature. However, there are many other capabilities we have not touched on in this video, like exporting the data plotted to a CSV file, printing the trend, showing more detailed statistics, panning, zooming, etc. Lots of additional features not shown in this video. The last feature in this video shows how users can save and access different trends that are pre-configured. This allows users to easily access additional data sets and time periods with a single click. This capability is called Favorites. This concludes this short video.